Okay, this will be just a quick overview of my CNC machine. Uh, I designed this myself and built it back in 2008. Uh, first of all, it sits on a rolling tool cabinet so I can roll it around the shop. Uh, rough dimensions, the table is 36 inches long has a travel of 31 inches uh, it's a moving fix gantry moving table uh, the way the table is set up you can see the end of one of the screw for the X here, uh, I actually use ways to move the, for the table to set on, and the ways consist of underneath here. I don't know if you see it or not, but there's a piece of aluminum there that rides on this board, and this board is greased. Uh, makes it slide pretty good like I say the the table length is 36 inches and the travel is 31 so for a small footprint you can get a fairly large travel uh, here's my uh, Harbor Freight speed control for the router and the cabling now we'll come around here, here's the uh, Y axis and the Z axis. I got a good 12 inches of Z travel so I can put in pretty big thick stock. Uh, I've got a Harbor Freight 2 horsepower fixed base router in here. Of course I didn't need the base so that's why it says fixed base. Uh, takes half inch. I've got collets for quarter inch, three eighths inch, five sixteenths inch, three sixteenths inch, quarter inch, and eighth inch. Right now I've got a three quarter inch bit in there. Uh, because it's time to do my yearly uh, resurfacing of the table. Speaking of the table, get this tray out of here. Now looking at it from the end here, uh, I've got half inch thick boards here. On top of that, I originally had the uh, quarter inch boards here for the T-slots. But that wasn't quite strong enough and I wanted something I could resurface. So I added the three quarter inch boards here. Now, uh, this will allow me to resurface the table. The table is the same size as the X and Y travel basically which is 31 by 12 so that allows me to resurface the table now I've already run this once uh, got rid of most of the marks here but there's a few uh, left over so I think I'll just skim it one more time get rid of some of these marks here but this is a, this is my spoil board actually so these are pretty easy to replace but being three quarters of an inch thick and I only have to take off 10 or 15 thousandths maybe once a year uh, you know should last quite some time 
So now I'll get set up and uh, I'll resurface the table. Now, I originally had the computer mounted here with the screen up here, but the vibration got to the computer so bad that uh, I had to take it off of there. This little box here is the CNC USB controller in here. And it has a cable here that runs down below underneath the drawers here where my uh, motor drivers are located. Uh, I've got 205 uh, motors on there on the X, Y, and Z. I also have an A axis that I built myself, but I won't get into that now. So now we'll get set up and we'll uh, resurface the table. All right, now we'll start here at the uh, lower left uh, corner of the table. I got it touched off and set my X and Y and it's ready to go. Okay, now that's done, I'll just uh, take my sanding block here and remove any fuzzies might be there, especially on these corners. That's it. Good for another year or so. Thank you. I hope you like it and click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.